Hi guys, so here's just a little short video about a trick that you might like. It's basically, if you go to the shop, all the way to the end, you can buy the full gas for 24 hours and the double XP for 24 hours. Those are fairly cheap. Like if you see here, it's 279 for the gas and 399 for the double XP. Uh, those are Canadian prices, so that's like less than seven bucks and you can have boat. Uh, if you're in the US, I'm guessing it's probably more around five bucks for boat since we pay more in Canada, it seems. And those two buffs together basically give you unlimited XP, which when you get to higher level, you're gonna need a lot of to upgrade heroes, weapons, and armors. So it's not that costly, I mean, seven bucks. It's not that much, uh, obviously. For some others, it's going to be more, but I'm not saying you should do that every two days. It's still 24 hours of it. And also, you, you don't necessarily need both, because there's often in-game events that give you one or the other. Or there's even the uh, in-game event that happened a couple times that you were actually getting one gas can every minute. So you wouldn't really need the full gas uh, for 24 hours if you got that event on to begin with. But the double XP is pretty good. So the way it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty simple, you just go and do scavenge missions. You can do it on normal so it's faster or you can do it on hard like you see right now on hard you get 5300 XP, on normal you would get 3900. So you see right now I got it on, I get double XP, I'll just do one mission, let's start it off. So everything that gives XP is doubled. That include the XP that you get from the kills, the rewards, the zombies you kill outside, well, the walkers you kill outside your walls, everything. All right, so let's do this. pretty quick here because I know you guys don't want to see me do this mission for five minutes <laughs> not that you should be taking five minutes to do it anyway but still All right. getting more zombies it's fine that you're getting more zombies because it means you're getting more XP Right, and now we're getting out. So, we're getting double XP on both these. So, you see, 7,000 and 7.8 thousand. So, that's quite a bit. It's almost 15,000 just there. And now we're gonna get the reward, which there's two possible golds out of it, which I didn't get. But still, a whole bunch of XP again. So. I'll do the video just to get three more attempts. All right, so I edited out the video there so you don't have to watch it. Here's my three more picks. And you see that gold gave me 45,000. So I'll spend the 25 gold just so you can see what you could possibly get since I got another gold there, there we go. So see how much I'm getting there, it's just ridiculous. I actually just capped my XP at 800,000, so that's just ridiculous. So you can do that very fast. I mean, it takes like maybe a minute to do, well, two minutes if you add all the loading times. So obviously you're spending $7, but I mean, do it once a month maybe. Usually what I do is I, I, I'll, I'll do all the ga the Google survey that give you free money and I'll just take one in, do it and I'll just 
do a whole bunch of them. Obviously, I'm not going to stay up 24 hours and do that 24 hours straight. But still, you can get quite a few. The only thing is that you're, you're actually limited by what you're spending on. Like, if you want to upgrade your characters, well, you probably won't be able to do two or maybe three within those 24 hours if you don't use Insta. And same for your armors and everything, because there's actually timers on it. Like, if I update a hero, like if I go check a survivor here, let's say I want to update Glenn to level 16. Well, it's going to take me 15 hours and 15 minutes. So I'll only be able to do two heroes. And if I go upgrade a weapon, which is what I'm planning to do right now, so let's see, update the golden commander gun that they gave us for the zombie kills. It's 20 hours that it's gonna take me. And you see, I just upgraded it and it's gonna take me 20 hours. But if you save up your gold, either from the reward or if you get a bunch of gold because you bought a couple special offers or whichever way they throw the gold at you, it's, I usually just use it on Instas and you see right now, I gotta wait 20 hours, but if I pay 167 gold, it's gonna be instantly ready. The thing you gotta be careful though, if you plan to do that, well, there's no point of doing it right away right now. Because if I know that my next survivor is gonna cost me like 550k, well, I don't have 550k right now. So there's no point of using the Insta right now. I can go farm the 550k, and once I got that 550k, I can insta at that point. Because the cost that the insta costs you, right now it's 167. But if I do it in an hour, it's going to be less than that. It's maybe going to be, well, not, not a lot less than that. But maybe it's going to be like 150 or something like that. So I'm still saving a couple goals. Where there's really no point of using the insta until you're ready to spend it on something else. So here's my couple tips. Obviously, it, it's not a free method. So if if you play the game and you want to don't want to spend money, you're better off waiting for their special weekends. But still, even let's say there's a weekend that you get f cans every one minute. Well, you can still do that method. You won't have the double XP, but you'll still get to do because they normally cost five cans to do a scavenger. But still, you'll be able to do one scavenger every five minutes. So that, that's still pretty damn good. So you'll, you'll be filled within like 50, every 15, 20 minutes or so. So you can still get quite a lot of XP like that. So it's still doable if you don't spend a dime. You just gotta wait for the right events. But there it is, just a couple tips. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. You can subscribe on my channel, like on my video, leave me comments or whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed, see you next time.